Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. I know we're having a lot of fun, aren't we? Okay, so it's post-Oscar week. Everybody's still recovering. In fact, <laughs> it's like when I said everybody, it's, you know, people are going, gosh, I thought I was younger, right? I think I could, I thought I could, yes, recover a whole lot faster. In fact, re oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's next week. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, I did have a date set up, court date set up, but we had done that after that was after the Golden Globes. I skipped a day and then the next one. Okay. Anyway, I know. Can you tell? We're still like in catch-up mode, but we have lots of coverage that's coming up. Okay. From all, of course, all the Oscar week events. And okay, the world does not go move around the entertainment industry and Oscars, although many of us think it does. Oh, actually, we do know it doesn't. And news still continues. So we're going to bring old Pam on with comments on the headlines of today. Oh, she did? Yeah, she's coming in. Okay. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, I'm going to put it this way. This morning, they're just, anybody that Obama wants to send up for the cabinet, they're just rubber stamping them now, even though there are people that elected them office that don't do this. That, here's one of the things the guy said about the, this Republican leadership. He said they have this, they have the spine of a jellyfish. He said, well, the Democrats will hold together and make certain that you don't get the nominations you want or you don't pass the legislation you want, Republicans just cave because people that aren't going to vote for them until hell freezes over, and won't even then, don't like the Republicans. The, also, the guy said this morning, he said, if the President of the United States was to go to uh, McConnell or Boynard and say, I want a piece of legislation that says all Republicans have to eat, you know, cow manure for breakfast, they'd be uh, standing in line to be the first ones to buy the cow manure. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, uh, there's no spine. I mean, Rush Limbaugh, some of the people are criticizing Limbaugh about it. Uh, but the fact is, he's telling the truth. Republicans have no spine. The country is basically, there. okay, you can't, there isn't enough money from the welfare to pay Obama's spending. And no one seemed to understand that. that, that you know, uh, Obama throws everybody under the wheels of the bus. You think that this thing with Seth MacFarlane wasn't approved of by the president mm -hmm. before he let his wife do the thing at the end of the show? Mm -hmm. They sent him what was going to. He was going to attack women. He was going to attack Jews. Everybody that the Democrats need, he went after except for black Americans and mm -hmm. Hispanics. And Italy vote may bring the opposite of what the country needs. Well, yeah, they're, going, they're voting to get rid of the... They, uh, they don't want the spending, they don't want the social... Remember, Italy's a socialist nation. They don't want any of this stuff stopped. Uh, let's see, what brought China down and brought Russia down was they ran out of money that they could spend on social programs, so they become, they become, they become capitalists. They, there, there is a form of uh, socialism where capitalism is very popular. It, it makes millionaires because the millionaires allow the, them to spend money, the spending of money allows them to grow the military and therefore ex expand their influence. Our president is a uh, Saul Ulinsky type of millionaire, which basically, he, the guy that built the Chinese system that totally failed mm -hmm. twice in the last 20 years, he was in charge of building that system where, where you know, that you keep everybody employed for life, the government does this, the government does that, and then when the government runs out of money, See, Selensky didn't live long enough to get to the part where they didn't have any money anymore. Mm. And French Malian forces fight suspect Islamists in Gao. Oh yeah, they said the Islamists have now, contrary to what our president has now said, they said that Al-Qaeda has now set up shop in the United States. They're not only not dead, they're expanding influence totally. They said you, they're picking people up in our country they won't even uh, they won't even deny their members of Al Qaeda, and it's what uh, I was watching this person this morning. He said that uh, one of the people on one of the mainstream press things this morning. He said, "You got to be kidding! Why hasn't the president told us this?" You know, they're, they're, they're like, if they said, "What well, is?" They don't listen to the people that are telling you what's going on. They only listen to the news that's being put out by the president, and he, he would tell you if an asteroid was going to hit the earth tomorrow that tomorrow is going to be a great day to go out and spend money. Mm. And three British Islamists convicted of plotting another 9-11. Yep. Uh, Al-Qaeda has set up shop in, in England now. And it's just, um, uh, they now have, they have now officially listed, officially, unofficially listed the, the major Hussein to kill all the people as a member of Al-Qaeda. Can you believe What? That? Yeah, he's unofficially, officially now been listed as an Al-Qaeda member. Who? 
the guy that killed all those people at Fort Hood. Oh. The president has tried to bury it, but unfortunately, when the press actually finds a story they can run with it, they do run with it. And yeah, the fact yeah. that Al Qaeda is setting up shop all over this country is now something. Well, the problem comes is they don't like people in the press. They kill people in the press. I don't think I want to be, you know, just a, I don't think I want to die for our president. Mm -hmm. And Seth MacFarlane's obnoxious Oscars. Well, they said that uh, that this man should not. You know, the Academy shouldn't hire him back for next year because he offended all the women. He offended, uh, he offended all the Jews in the audience. And uh, they said, basically, you got, he, he, they said it was the most offensive show in Oscar history. And they, uh, they said, but because he got that, he got that 18 to 38 year audience that doesn't, they don't use commercials for on the show to watch the show. They think the Academy will probably give him a long-term contract like, you know, for so he can come back like Bob Hope and, uh, and, and Johnny Carson year after year after year and continually offend everybody they need. Mm -hmm. so. And Obama to attend Rosa Parks statue unveiling at U.S. Capitol. Well, yeah, you know, it, it, it's not because he wants to. It's just it's a political thing because everybody De knows Definitely it. political. He doesn't like black people, folks. He sort of pointed that out with the... the, the the least employed people in the country are Afro-Americans, wow. and he, with a swip, with a swipe of a pen, he could make them. He could put them at the top of the line, but he's going to put the illegal aliens at the top of the line above them for all jobs. And Obama joins Prop Eight fight. Oh yeah, he wants the Supreme Court to rule that gay marriage is a right. Okay, the problem is, uh, it has to do with uh, with tradition. No one is saying that gay people can't get married. What they don't want is to force, they don't want you to force a Catholic, man, a Catholic priest, a Lutheran minister, a rabbi to have to marry someone that's against their religion. But Obama says that you should be forced to do anything the government wants you to do. Because, um, uh, you know, all it does is, like I tell people before, I know people that were never in the closet. They were very openly gay. God, they, you know, they wear really flamboyant clothes. They can't get work anymore because of all of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to, you want to, you you want to not work in Hollywood, be gay. Mm. And um, um, slavery math questions cause uproar at New York City school. Yeah, well, because they're trying to figure out how many Republicans brought slaves to this country. You want to know how many Republicans brought oh, slaves to this country? B.S. the Bull says he'll give you zero the republican party did not exist during the era of slavery <laughs> but the democratic party did the democratic party ruled the south where all the slaves came they ruled the northeast where the slave where the people that imported them lived it was all done by the people that's why you know all of the members of the clan they were those were southerners folks mm. those southern democrats and will immigration hawks ever think the border is secure enough they're not secure at all i mean the, okay, here was another joke. The President of the United States is calling the two senators, two Republican senators, into the woodshed today, and he's going to explain to them, I've decided to legalize all of the, uh, the, the 100 million people in Mexico as citizens of our nation because we stole this country, the West, from them, and therefore they should have all the rights of American citizens. Oh, and by the way, if you're a southern state and you have a Republican-ran government, we're doing black reparations month, which means we're turning the state over to the slaves in that state to bring back what the Republicans did to Afro-Americans, which they weren't even a party of. It. They, didn't, they didn't exist in those states, folks. Remember, they're the party that freed the slaves. Mm -hmm. They're the party that did the civil rights movement. Ah, and labor business agree to principles on immigration. The, the principles are that you bring, you know, that you want to have skilled laborers, not unskilled, which the president doesn't agree with. You want secure borders, which the president doesn't agree with, and you want them to get in the back of the line, which the president doesn't agree with. I don't think that is a, they don't agree in any principles, do they? Mm. And Evan Gaddis wa wanders his way back to baseball. Oh, I know. It's just, um, it, it, it's some, some of these people take a roundabout way to get back to where they started out and failed. So. And Russia and China oppose military intervention in North Korea. Oh, yeah, because they both sell weapons. Okay, one country provides them with all the money, and the other country builds all the weapons for them. So other than that... Well, should that be a surprise? Any country that's a, that is a communist country, they do not approve of intervention in. And NBA, even with its popularity, has room for growth in China. Well, 
Yeah, because there is no growth in China because they don't. That, okay, I don't know why they think. I mean, I know people that thought we can go there and do business. No, things are very popular, but it just doesn't work in China. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, when they tell you you're only as old as, old as you feel, they're not really as old as the people they're telling that to.